be somewhere in Mexico, I presume. Now what we see here, it's very unique looking. It is actually Yucatan, interestingly. We don't see any mountains, right? We do see a big hill there. We still have this rock wall around the uh, around the, the uh, house here, so that definitely gives me mixed signals here about where to guess. Um, yeah, this could be north or south. This is not an easy route, especially because we kind of don't see any road hints or anything like that. But we definitely do see mountains, so we can't click in the Yucatan Peninsula. That'll be too hilly. Honestly, the uh, houses feel really old, so I want to go either like near the US border or near Mexico City or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, not easy here, guys. Uh, here, I want to go further north instead, I think. Don't really know where's best though. I might go like near Tampico here, but that all seems pretty flat to me, unfortunately. Otherwise, like up on the US border somewhere. I don't know where this is, man. I'm gonna hedge in the middle. Seems like decent. Uh, <laughs> it's not easy. Okay, it was actually SLP there. We did have actually SLP uh, vegetation. So that's a good start to the jewel. 800 damage. Let's head through to round number two here and see what's going on. And uh, we have a... Uh, some Cyrillic here, which is interesting. So I, or not even Cyrillic, uh, of course, Arabic. I think this is gonna be like Lahore or something like that, right? Um, that's where I'd normally guess on a location like that. So I'll try it out. It is just Lahore there. So we continue our flawless streak here. We have not taken any damage so far since I started recording for Sarkis channel. Next one here, I'm looking at some Malaysia, which I, oh no, some Philly, which I've been practicing. A lot of palms. Uh, it's not the super south style tuk tuk though, I think. So I want to say that this is like maybe Samar or something like that. That's what I'll try. I'll try later here. Okay, but it was just actually Mindanao instead, so he's gonna do a bit of damage to us there. Not too bad though. Definitely like safe middle hedge is always uh, a decent option in Philly. Okay, round number four here. And we are looking at what? Um. Something like America, that? Could that be an Indiana plate? I don't think the uh, landscape fits that well for Indiana, but it did remind me of one of the Indiana plates, I can't lie. I don't think it's quite right. I, don't, I think I should disregard it. Okay, so in which case, fairly western here, but we do have hills as well. So maybe like Northwest Missouri or something like that could make sense here. Iowa, Missouri border, I think it's best actually. That's where I'd go here. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, anything else to say here? I mean, I don't think he's gonna make out too much. He just has to remember the license plate really. Uh, yellow house, I don't know, like, I think my guess is good here. I think it was Iowa there, pretty good pickup. Uh, he has a good guess as well though, so it's really, actually he's closer, really. Wait, that really looks like I'm closer. I guess because I'm in the right state, it looked like I was closer, but he actually is uh, closer there. This is going to be somewhere in Greece, I assume. Now, is there any language? Doesn't seem like there is, but it's definitely Greece here. So looking like this, I wouldn't click too far from the capital city. I think I would just go like that. He is the I clicked actually, Patras. He's a little bit further away this time. And uh, we get another nice guess there. So here we have some like, Autumn coverage, more USA, which is not what we wanted to see. That plate's pretty generic, I would've thought. Ooh. Plate there. This is difficult, because we have a fairly sizable mountain north there. Architecture kind of feels Midwestern, though. We have a click middle of the Appalachians on around like this, I think. Yeah. I think West Virginia feels decent, but we have front plates, so. Yeah, just gonna go Virginia here. It was actually in New York State there. He actually goes Canada, surprisingly, but he's slightly closer there, so. Okay, this is very hazy indeed, um, in a way that makes me want to go near Miani, which often has such a haze. I think I'll just go for that. Uh, it could be anywhere along here, if, uh, but actually it is just Miani, so that's good. And that will be a knockout damage, I assume, almost, almost. 5,000 points, he's 78 points left uh, on this round, so hopefully we don't get any hard rounds, now we just want easy ones. Quadruple damage here, looking like it's gonna be Reunion, this is exactly the type of round he didn't want. We have hills south here, feels like ocean north, so I would go Sondeni. I think Sondeni is actually the best uh, option here, unfortunately. Uh, was there, is that enough damage? I don't think so. 
Yeah, not quite. Only eight points. He's down to 70 now. Uh, and he makes a nice guess there. Okay, Indonesia. Uh, five times damage. The whole thing can end right here. Uh, okay, so arms. Yes. Holes. Absent. But these roots are like really common in South Kalimantan. So I could hedge here. Maybe I have to hedge with the fence, bro. I don't want to die here, honestly. We have such an advantage that I think we should just hedge like this. Let's see it. I know. Oh no, it said palm bang on something. Okay. <laughs> okay, bro. GG. Uh, we lose 1,300 points there. 30,000.